Hi everybody, Rob Clifton, CEO of Avid Mobile. Daryl told me to, uh, because he respects your guys' time so much, he told me just to shoot together a quick video and send it to you guys. Um, I realize that a lot of you, Daryl has told me all about you guys, how you guys kind of run your marketing at your parks, and um, that you, some of you have done SMS and text coupons and mobile coupons and things like that. Other people haven't. Some people didn't really see that big of a return. I can tell you guys where the breakdown was with your with the tactics and everything that you did before. And I'm going to show you three things that will really add a lot of value to what you do this year and really help you grow databases bigger than anything else that you guys have ever had. And then in turn, you can leverage those databases for uh, dramatically more season ticket sales, dramatically more visits next year, ancillary visits, extra visits, and most of all, get some viral engagement through social media, all with a mobile-first strategy. Forbes just came out with an article talking about how important it is for companies to be mobile first. Well, with your guys' type of business, it is the absolute uh, best opportunity to be mobile first. And I'll show you how real quick. Here it is. Oh, by the way, uh, we are an international provider, work with tons of great, uh, you know, great different companies, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> and you guys know the stats. Why when people send out text messages, they just, they get, they get opened. They're open and read. And so if your people will give you permission to text them, then you can really, really reach some people, and then, but it's going to help your social media and all that other stuff. So I'm going to skip over all that. There's two ways that we monetize through loyalty and new customer acquisition. Okay, so here it is, point of sale. As soon as people are walking through the gate, would it be beneficial to stand there and hand everybody a card that said, hey, you can get the app right to your phone right now, Plus, you'll receive any emergency notifications, lost child notifications. You'll get a couple discounts, some ride updates, whatever. You hand them a card that looks just like this, right with the ticket taker. That's one option. The other option, you know, and it, and it can look like that. That's just so you guys can see it, right? When those people text in, they opt in. They immediately get, you know, a predetermined two or three messages during the day, and then a, a really hot final one. I'll tell you that one in a second. The other choice is when. You actually arm some people with tablets as greeters as people are walking in the door. Now, this is an awesome way to build 500 people a day into your database. It's sick how many people you can get just by staffing one member to greet them as people walk in. Then you don't waste paper and ink of handing anybody anything. When people walk in the door, they type their mobile number on the tablet. Instantly, they get a text message back on their phone, and it links right to your app so they can download the park guide and everything else. But they've also opted in. Now you have a ride closure. Now you can text everybody and tell them. Now you have something going on in the park. You can text everybody and tell them. But, man, what we're really talking about is, okay, so they're there. You're sending a message during the day. Hopefully, you're driving some sales. But here's where it gets hot. You send them a, a text message at the end of the day. You see, you know the, the 500 visitors that were in your park today because they opted in today. And they get a message at the end of the day, uh, you know, or towards the end of the day that says, hey, um, you know, if you post some pictures, we're running a contest for people that post pictures on our Facebook fan page right now of their visit. You know, one person wins a season pass or whatever. And that, you might run that same contest all year long and give away one season pass. You're not giving away anything. But what happens is literally hundreds of people post a picture on your Facebook wall and all of their friends see that picture and that viral element alone is what is a mobile first strategy that's what Forbes is talking about it's you see they have the device in their hand and it's hard to get the app downloads but it's easy to get them to text in or type their mobile number in a tablet all you got to do is stand there and present them with a the tablet then they're in the database then you send them a message that links directly to that Facebook page and boom they're pasting pictures they're putting pictures right on your facebook fan page you're getting that viral element people are talking about it going man we got to go out there that looks like a great time and and that viral component itself is really going to help grow the business then you start talking about the messages you can send out to drive additional visits in the future you know every one of you know different things that happen throughout the season the weather changes whatever seasonal changes and those are opportunities to send text messages out 98 percent open rate 95 percent within five minutes of delivery you talk about delivering a text message out to you know a database of a hundred thousand people at 9 a.m on a saturday morning and saying today's a great day to come visit the, the water park you know beautiful day and then all of a sudden the number of transactions more than pays for the investment to send those text messages plus the top of mind awareness and everything else now black friday imagine sending a, a, a text message out that says season tickets make the perfect christmas presents you know that text message goes out on black friday at nine o'clock in the morning when people are standing in line at walmart not knowing what to buy their kids 
and that's where people will just click through and can buy a season pass right there from their mobile device just by clicking the link you're delivering your park right to their phones right we work with a lot of companies on their lead generation strategies um, by adding one mobile engagement right to the displays and the print marketing and the other things that you're currently doing when you get people to text in to see an instant video of the of the track, now they've opted in. Now you can remarket to them in the future. Once they've viewed that and they've texted in to see that video, now you can remarket to them on that Saturday morning like I talked about and then actually get them to come into the park. These people are looking for entertainment for their children and by staying in front of them, by remarketing to them, this, this display or this print ad is a lead generator in itself and it gets you an impression. What the mobile engagement gets you is additional impressions. It allows you to send video right to their phone. And then you take that, they, then you've, you've actually captured them in a database. That's your perfect target audience. Now you can communicate with them one-to-one -one in the future and drive transactions from that database. And that, So you're actually lessening the cost of a new customer acquisition. This is why Forbes talks about mobile first. This is why so many businesses out there are now investing so heavily in their database building because you can actually capture the mobile phone number and then turn around and capture their email behind it. And so you've got captured two touch points. You can capture the mobile phone number, then turn around and drive them right to your social media and start a conversation with them. That's how you drive social media conversations. You want to do something big. You want to transform your businesses this year. This is a way to really dramatically increase season ticket sales and ticket sales. And this is a way for you to steal business from the other attractions and other family things that other people are doing. It starts at the point of sale, but it also goes into your other traditional marketing. I appreciate you guys watch, watching. Talk to Daryl and let him know that you're interested. And let's, get to, let's put this deal together. Okay, We'll talk to you guys soon.